I said, emotional creatures are too inclined to skew the news to their point of view. Therefore, articles are tainted with agendas and propagandized headlines spread like a bubonic page. Now, the media is plagued with sound bites that take bite sized chunks out of the truth and inject them with prejudice, that produce bits of tainted information intended to formulate society's opinions for them. We are subjected to the news organizations who profess to be unbiased and balanced but are compromised by the weight of ideologies based on social economics and differences in biology. The keyboard is a magical apparatus that can turn the average citizen into a celebrity or a celebrity into a demigod with riches and steeples or a demigod into a villain or a villain into a leader of over 321 million people. I concur that it is un-American to not want America great again. Just tell me when. Was it the first time we took flight in 1903 or was it in 1908 when we first cruised in the Model T or was it when the transoceanic cable communication was laid in 1858 or was it the Panama Canal in 1914 or was it cell phones in 1973? Was it the moon landing in 1969 or was it when the internet connected us via cyber lines? Because surely, you aren't referring to when Native Americans were wiped out or displaced or when Africans were enslaved and subjugated or when women suffered for suffrage or when hatred and discrimination were openly tolerated. Surely you aren't referring to those days. Oh, the steps. To get to memory lane, we must climb on the stallion, step on the joyful, as well as the tumultuous points of history. It's a good thing I'm wearing my boots. My beautiful boots are shades of ebony, somewhat scuffed from, from tussling with ruffians and roughnecks in Tulsa. The soles of my boots are worn to the soles from centuries of treading through travesties and bearing the burdens of the totem loads of the limitations of the human being's threshold for agony. Oh, the audacity of the savages who inflicted those unimaginable agonies to scold us and exhort us just to get over those tragedies. My boots have been racked from stepping in that squishy, audacious crap. My miraculous boots have walked on slaughters. They have carried sons and daughters through motherlands and cotton fields from sharecropping to sharing profits in the black oasis called the Greenwood District. In their black community, the green bats circulated like whirlwinds into the night of May 31st into June 1st, 1921, when the world as we knew it ended. After centuries of slavery and years of Jim Crow, African Americans were told to pull ourselves up by the bootstraps so we reached down into the ash and mire with determination and desire. We grasped the straps and we pulled. We defied the gravity of depravity and elevated above envy, isms, obstructions, and calamities. The higher the stepping stones, the higher we stepped. And we kept stepping.